Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, heading back in to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I was planning to do this earlier today, but some stuff came up. You can see it's a bit late. Um, anyway, so I'm starting from the menu here so you can see what happens when you launch the game from the menu. Um, since we haven't done that yet, except with a brand new file, and Switch games usually do a different thing with a brand new file, so... Just for completeness. Okay, so we've got a little uh, floating island symbol thing, as you do, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just be taking a little while. Hmm. I thought it'd be pretty quick, but it's, it's not that quick. Hmm. It's alright. It's no big deal. There we go. Okay, this is pretty much what I expected, yeah. It just takes you to the title screen that we saw in the previous video. And you just press A, and that immediately takes you into the game. Oh, oh, hang on. What's happening? Oh, okay. We've got an announcement. Testing, testing, test, test, test. Hello, every... Oh dear, so, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Hello, everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, goings-on and such, hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Canterlot Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all, no no, the airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services centre, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please do drop by for a look. Oh, I do have one other item to share, and it too is a whopper, hmm? As of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Canterlot. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Canterlot. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation, inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all from me, I do hope you enjoy another fine day of luxurious Canterlot living. Okay, so we can go to... Presumably we can donate things to Blathers now. Um, in the previous games, he just had a museum from the beginning of the game. And you could donate things to it. But I guess in this one, you have to wait for him to move in. Which takes a day. Interesting change. Okay. Gosh, I'm adorable. <laughs> Let's look in my mailbox. There's a new letter. It's from my mom. Whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many flights took off each day. My arm was exhausted. <laughs> Enjoy your fresh start, Mom. I'll take the present. Thanks, Mom. So, um, in previous games, you actually put letters in your pockets. There was an extra set of slots that the letters went into. In this game, they just stay in your mailbox, which is interesting. Um, peaches. Ooh, that's exciting. I did mention in the previous video that I'm kind of sick of peaches, but... In this game, we didn't already have peaches, so getting them is exciting. We'll, we'll have to plant those as soon as we figure out how to make a shovel. Because, uh, yeah, you plant a fruit, you get a fruit tree, then you can grow more of the fruit. Which is what we want. I wonder how many weeds you can carry in one slot. Like, I'm holding 83 of them. Is it like 99? Or... That would make sense. There's a grasshopper. Yes! I caught a long locust, or as I call it, a locust. Ha <laughs> get it? Oh, oh. Oh no, thank you for your service, faithful flimsy net. Okay, so it just spontaneously pops at a certain point. That's pretty funny. Alright, uh, I've got the bug. Yeah, I've caught enough bugs. i caught ten different bugs, so I get some nook miles. There we go. Yeah, I haven't played since the last video, but I will be playing off-camera, um, later on. Uh, I get some for breaking the tools, alright? But yeah, I, I will start playing off-camera, I'm not going to be recording all my gameplay, just because I want to play this a lot, under lots of different circumstances, circum and recording requires a certain setup. Uh, okay, um, let's head over to, uh, the museum tent now, and see if we can donate that bug we just caught to Blathers, I reckon. And then we probably need to craft a new, uh, bug-catching implement. <laughs> do, 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 there's a rock. Do, 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 there's a 
tree branch. Put it in our pockets along with some stones and weeds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Da -do, da -do, da -do. Okay, here's the place. Um, Alright, I left a bunch of stuff outside. <laughs> Let's go in and see if we can donate things to him yet. I'm guessing we have to actually build a museum because there isn't going to be room in this tent for everything. Hello. Who? a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island, thus I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha, could it be that you are Danielle, the person who chose the location for this tent? I am! A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight from this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research. Truth be told, I am determined to open a museum, and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook, and the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what. Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. Who? As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. Okay, so yeah, we got across the river in order to uh, get fossils. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say? Who? Silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Danielle, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Okay, so he's gonna teach me how to cross the river. <laughs> there, you see, with wood gathered from Canterlot, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. Um... Hang on, I'm concerned that I'm getting some frame rate drops. I'm just gonna jump in here and close some other programs, see if that helps. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's quit that. Vaulting pole. This pole can be used to repel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Danielle, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. Still seeing some frame rate drops. Hmm. Sorry about that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not dropping frames on purpose, I promise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. Uh, how do, can I talk to you to donate? Please let me know if you have items to donate, items to donate, since I'm here to help. Who? Make a donation. Uh, marvelous. What would you like to donate? Okay, so I can give in this uh, long locust? Yes, there we go. Eek! A long locust. The horror, the repugnance. Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. Ahem, I beg your pardon. Bugs. I do detest them. Yeah, this has been in one of Blather's trays in the, throughout the series. He just does not like the bugs. Bugs bad. <laughs> Still, as much I can tell you about the insects you apprehended. If you insist, that is. Please tell me. Ah, uh, I, I see. In that case, um, As if the average locust weren't large enough, we must suffer the long locust too. The wretched beasts are known for their unusually long hind legs as well as their elongated heads. But that is hardly the long locust's worst trait. I tell you, they spit brown goo when they're scared. Revolting behavior indeed. Ugh and ooh. Any hoot. <laughs> my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. With this, we need 14 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? Okay, um... Does the Critopedia start telling me about the bug I just got? No, apparently not. Hmm, maybe the actual museum needs to open before that happens. Anyway, we can now make a vaulting pole and a flimsy shovel. Still flimsy, but it, it's, it's a pole and a shovel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 
I'll grab some more stuff from outside and bring it in, I guess. Da 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 da. I had just enough room. Okay. <laughs> To do, let's give Blathers some stuff. He's reading a book. Please let me know if you have items, blah, blah, blah. We already saw this. Uh, make a donation. Marvelous. Uh, you may have uh, this cricket. Uh, this is the same as before. Would you like to learn more about the specimen? Please tell me. Ah, uh, I see. In that case, ahem. <clears throat> I say, where shall I start with the cricket? Well, to begin with, they are mostly nocturnal creatures, and for that, you day-loving, diurnal types should be grateful. Who <laughs> means you don't have to lay eyes upon their prickly legs or overly long antennae like us night owls. Of course, crickets are best known for the chirping sound they make by rubbing their wings together. Some find the noise lovely to listen to. Alas, it only serves to remind me of another, another unpleasant fact. Which is to say, you will find a cricket's ears right next to its knees. I've gone weak in the knees at the mention of it! Cute. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured this wretched thing will get the best of care here. Uh, yes, I have more donations. Uh, I'll give you this, uh, mosquito. I hate this as much as you do. <laughs> Eek, a mosquito? What a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. Ah, uh, I see. In that case, ahem. As everyone knows, the mosquito is a vampiric pest that sucks blood from innocent bystanders. But did you know that only the females suck blood? Who? it's true. They need it to make their eggs. When they sink their snout into our skin, they inject us with a saliva that helps them slurp up their meal. Oh, gross. It's that saliva that makes us itch and scratch, you know. <sighs> so rude. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, blah 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 blah. Okay, um... Uh, yes, actually, I do have some other, have some other things. Yeah, I'm still seeing frame rate drops, I'm sorry about that. Uh, if I switch that off, is that better? Mm, maybe, maybe. That might help. Uh, black bass? Hooty hoo! This must be a black bass! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your black bass? Uh, yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more! The black bass is a formidably strong fish and as such is a common target for sport anglers. In some areas, they are even those who professionally catch just black bass. Yet in other areas where they are not native, they are considered an ecological nuisance. Invasive, even. One cannot help but wonder who is to blame for their invasion, who... And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it for you? I think in previous games, Blathers, like, when he talked about fish, usually talked about how they taste, like how best to cook them and stuff. So I guess he doesn't do that anymore. So that's an interesting change. Hmm. Pufferfish? Hoo hoo! Why, this is a pufferfish! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your pufferfish? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Like its cousin the blowfish, when the pufferfish feels threatened, it inflates into a spiky balloon. The biggest difference between them is that the pufferfish is not deadly poisonous like its kin. So while it may look scary, the substantially reduced risk to life and limb makes it much better company. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo, blah 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 blah. Uh, yes, I have one more. I have, uh, this, uh, sweet fish. Oh, okay, salmon's already been donated, that's why it's not showing up as a thing I can donate again. That's helpful. Who, woo, hoo, this is undoubtedly a sweet fish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sweet fish? Yes, please. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Sweet fish are the damp heralds of summer. 
These slippery fellows appear in numbers when it warms up. They hatch in a river and swim to the ocean. Once they mature, they return to the river where they were born. When they return depends on the river temperature. If it's too cold, their fishing season will start later. Some even say summer can't start without sweet fish, despite the key role played by the Earth's axial tilt. <laughs> and there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. And that's all I have. Nine more donations. Okay. Thanks, brothers. Okay, we're making a good start. Um, I guess we should probably make ourselves a shovel and a vaulting pole. Um, let me just grab some stuff off the ground here. Apparently selling weeds is an okay idea, but because crafting is completely free, you can craft them into the umbrellas made of weeds and then sell those. And that's worth more. So I might give that a try, momentarily. Uh, apparently there wasn't a Nook Miles thing for donating all that to the museum. Maybe once you have a museum open, you start getting prizes for donating more stuff to it. Let's go make those things. Taking stuff off the ground. Okay, yeah, it goes to 99 and then goes to a new pile. Okay. Should probably sell off some of these. Makes sense. It looked like there was enough room for two digits. Hello, friends. Anything in the box today? Nope. I wanna sell, please. I will sell this bell cricket and moth and salmon. <laughs> um... And this leaf umbrella, and then I'll make another one. Do -do, do -do. Let's craft something using Tom Nook's workbench. Let's make a vaulting pole. We're gonna need to get some more wood as well, we're running a bit low. I made a vaulting pole. Keep crafting. Um, let me see. Shovel. I guess I should probably make another net as well. If I can. If it'll let me. I don't know if I have the right supplies. Flimsy shovel. Keep crafting for now. I, I think you can get, like, tools that don't break eventually, but I'm not really sure. It's possible that they all break, and then, except maybe the golden tools when you eventually get them. Hmm. Can I craft more than one if I'm allowed to do allowed to make more than one? Doesn't look like it. Craft a leaf umbrella, yes. Okay, so it's not super quick to make more of these, but it works. Yeah, you gotta do it one at a time. It's a little annoying. Maybe maybe there's an upgrade you can unlock that lets you do more at a time. That'll do for now. <laughs> Some nook miles, is that for crafting all those things I just did? Oh, for making more tools. Cool. Uh, we do want to interact with this machine as well, because that gives you, uh, miles every day. Bonus daily miles. ka -ching. And that's all we can do there for now. Do -do -do -do. Hello, Timmy. I wanna sell. Uh, I'll give you one of these umbrellas, I suppose. There you go. Okay, it's worth 300 bells. I think I think the same amount of weeds is... I think weeds are worth like 10 each, because then 15 of them will be worth 150. Yeah, that adds up. That makes sense. Um, it makes sense to me, in my head. <laughs> okay, um... Let's just organize these a bit better. I think you unlock better ways to sort things later in the game, but I don't have that yet. So, we'll have to wait for that. There we go. Okay, let's head out and look for some fossils. Get hype, y'all. Okay, so we can now cross the river because we have this vaulting pole. I don't really know how to use it, but let's let's try going to the river and see what happens. Uh, let's go to that island first, actually. Uh, it's this one, right? No, it's this one. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, what have we got on this island? We've got some trees. Um, pretty much just trees. There's not a whole lot here. Huh. It's interesting. I was expecting more. Alright, well, let's vault over to this bit then. I guess if you get stuck without any vaulting poles on the wrong bit of the island, you need to use rescue services to get back out. I don't think I've caught a butterfly yet. Give me that. Yes! I caught a yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? I see what you did there. Um, yeah, I haven't donated one of those yet, so... Also that one, if I can reach it. Mm, we'll look at that in a little bit. Oh, hello, dragonfly. Yes! I caught a red dragonfly. Didn't even have to roll for initiative. <laughs> oh, I love these jokes. It's pretty funny. Um, I haven't seen any fossils yet. Um, the way fossils look, there's like a crack in the ground. But when I see one, you'll be able to see what it looks like. Oop. Give me a butterfly. Give me a butterfly. I hope this doesn't damage the net every time I mess up. That would be really annoying. Yeah, I gotcha. Yes! I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, um, I need to donate all of those, but for the moment, let's just wander a bit north. Oh, hello, what have we got going on here? Yes, I caught a, a wharf roach. This water-loving roach has no peer. Ah, uh, I get it. Oh, oh, look my eyes. Is that for catching all the bugs? Yes. Catching. We need to get to 5,000 nook miles in order to actually um, advance to the next stage, so we're getting there. Getting close. Um, I'm not seeing any fossils though. How's my inventory doing? Uh, I've got room for a couple more things. Do, 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 do. I believe you can expand the size of your inventory in this game, uh, which is nice because you couldn't really do that in the previous Animal Crossings. Except Pocket Camp, but that game was really weird and different. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Not cherries. Vaulting pole. Hold. Woo! I guess let's look on the other side. I think I saw a crack over here. <laughs> These weeds as well? Probably, right? Oh no, oh no, there's the flowers I planted. These haven't grown yet. So they look like weeds. Oh, hang on, a sparkling spot. I feel like I should probably dig that up and see what happens. Oh, <gasps> money! Look, I dug up a thousand bells. Okay. This little shimmering hole here, I believe if we put more money into it, it will grow into like a money tree. I think. Uh, pay dirt. Buried treasure and whatnot. <laughs> So you can see the hole is like shimmering. Oh, you can jump over it. That's cool. Like if I bury this bag of bells again, I think that makes it grow into a tree? Yeah, okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, there we go, that's a fossil. Or it's something buried in the ground anyway. They look like this. Crack in the, in the dirt looks like that. It's a little bit different to how it looked in previous games, but it's still obviously the same thing that we're looking for. I'm not sure Blathers told us that, actually. But yeah, this is why we want to dig. Look, I dug up a fossil! Can I kick, kick that in? Or... Yeah, you can. Um, that was added in New Leaf. You could, like, kick dirt into those holes rather than use your shovel. And they expanded on it. In this game, you just jump over the holes, apparently. Um, I think it's because in, pre in um, like Wild World, people would get stuck by having holes dug around their house by other players. Which seems pretty rude. <laughs> um, let's see if there's any more fossils around. I have one more slot in my inventory. Yeah, so I might see if I can find one more and then I'll head back to Blathers. Aha! I dug up a fossil. And then I kicked dirt in the hole. Oh, there's one over there too. Eh, it's alright, I'll come back. 
Yeah, switching tools is a little fiddly because there is more in this game, but I think you get a better way of doing it shortly, like a little ways into the game, than you had in New Leaf. So I'm excited for that. Hi, Blathers. Make a donation. Uh, I'll give you the uh, bugs and stuff first, I guess. Here you go, yellow butterfly. Do you like butterflies or do you still hate them? Eek! A yellow butterfly! No, he hates it. What a wretched thing! Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Ah, uh, I see. In that case, ahem. Allow me to enlighten you. The yellow butterfly is named for its yellow wings. Need I say more? If I must, then allow me to note that the female yellow butterfly can lay up to 600 eggs at a time. Blech! Yeah, that's gross. You know, creepy crawly caterpillars just love to chomp on clover plants. A recipe for disaster, I say. Just imagine reaching for a four-leaf clover and they touch a lava instead. Yuck! The worst of luck. Any hoot. <laughs> okay, um... Well, I have more stuff to give you, so let's just keep going. I've got some more stuff. It's bugs. I'm sorry, friend. Eek! A red dragonfly! What a wretched thing! Yes, I want to hear about it. Tell me more. I won't deny that the wretched red dragonfly is an elegant aeronaut. It manipulates its four wings quite uniquely so it can hover and maneuver through the air with ease. But the veins on its wings, what ghastly things! One can't help but gasp at the sight of them. Appalling aerodynamics indeed. Yeah, that is pretty gross. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, well I've got more things for you, blathers. I don't know if there's a place you can see the messages he tells you about stuff later, which is why I'm looking at them right now. In um, New Leaf, he didn't tell you anything, you had to just go into the museum and look at them to see, like, to hear about them, so it's possible it'll work like that game, but I don't really know what to expect yet. A wharf roach, what a wretched thing. Yes, I'd love to learn more about it. The wharf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying it will eat almost anything. This skittering scavenger and its uncouth appetite help keep beaches clean, it's said. But I dare say their long antenna and bulging eyes turn my stomach unappetizing indeed. Okay, cool. Uh, I do have more. Uh, I have... Uh, this butterfly. I bet you hate this too, because it's a bug. Eek! A paper kite butterfly. What a wretched thing. He really hates all bugs. Butterflies are nice. Ah. Uh, with its black and white striped wing pattern, the paper kite butterfly is both elegant and pretty. Pretty poisonous, I mean! Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear, where was I? Oh yes. Even this butterfly's black and white striped lava and little golden pupae are toxic to predators. Indeed, the paper kite butterfly's foul flavour is famous, and thus birds in particular steer clear of the fiends. This bird, most of all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I have some fossils for you too. So it's pretty exciting. I have this fossil. Um, just like in previous games, Blathers needs to identify the fossils. Who? Um, in the original Animal Crossing for the GameCube, you had to send the fossils in as in a letter to get them identified which took an entire day, and then they came back and you could take them places. In every game since, you just go to Blathers and show him the fossil and he figures out what it is for you. Which is a huge improvement. Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. The matter at wing. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Hoo hoo. This is most assuredly a Parasaur Torso. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This Parasaur Torso will be a sizable step towards opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? I'm donating it. Hoot, how wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost taste. I never thought I'd lay eyes across upon such a well-preserved Parasaur Torso. Parasaurs must be pretty small if that's how big its torso is. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Hooty hoo, Parasaurolophus. Sor I like to think of it as the beast with the golden tones. You see, the three-foot structure of hollow bone atop its head may have been an elaborate noisemaker. As a died in the furthest optimist and music fan, I like to think it serenaded the late Cretaceous. And that is what I have to say about that. 
Any hoots, I will gladly accept your generous donation. Yeah, um, a lot of the fossils come in pieces, so you find the torso and the head and tail and sometimes, like, neck and rib. There's a whole bunch of pieces. Many thanks to you and best of luck. There are some fossils that are just one piece, but most of them come in multiple pieces. Yes, now then. Uh, only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. With this, we need four donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? Okay, I have one more fossil, so I'm going to talk to you again. <laughs> Make a donation. Hoo hoo, thank you very much. My feathers. Oh. Oh, we need to assess the fossil first? Okay. Okay, um, that's weird. In New Leaf, you could pick, like, make a donation and then pick an unappraised fossil and he would just look at it on the spot for you. But you have to actually pick a different option in this game. Interesting change. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Hoo hoo! Of course, it can be one thing. A T-Rex tail. A splendid specimen in superb, superb condition. Indeed, we'd be one step closer to opening our museum with a T-Rex tail like this. Would you donate this relic of the past to further our museum's future? I'm donating it. Hoot! How wonderful! I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved T-Rex tail. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? Yes, 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 yes. Wonderful! Tis fascinating stuff, blah 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 blah. I'd say that T-Rex is the 800 pound gorilla of the dinosaur world, but it likely weighed well over 9 tons. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. At up to 42 feet long with banana sized teeth, it was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. It's unclear how fast T-Rex was, since estimates vary wildly. I'm just relieved I'll never have to escape one. Whew. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I'll gladly accept your generous donation. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this one is also in pieces. And um, that's all I have to give you. Three more donations. Well, we're getting close. Um, I might put in three more donations and then call the video, I reckon. Uh, if that's cool with everyone. I know you can't answer me. I know this is a pre-recorded video, but that's what I'm going to aim for. And there's another fossil over here, so let's go get it. Usually there are four each day in New Leaf. I don't know if there's still four each day in this game or if it's a different way of doing it. Since they, they're guaranteed to appear on the other side of the river at the start, it might be a different number, or it might have different rules entirely. Okay, that's two. Uh, I mean, I already got two, so that's four total. So if it's still four per day, then I have all the fossils I'm going to be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, I haven't caught that kind of that kind of uh, butterfly yet. There we go. That's three more donations. Yes, I caught a tiger butterfly. I've earned my stripes. Cute. Okay, so we're just gonna. Yeah, I really need to get the faster tool switching. Uh, I believe it's like you press up on the D-pad and it gives you like a radial menu sort of thing, but you have to unlock it, and I haven't done that yet. Do, 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 do. Let's go appraise these new fossils. Also donate a butterfly. Blathers is reading a book. I have um, some fossils for you to assess right now. And yeah, you can give him both of them at once if you want. Who? More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Who, woo, who? These are rare fossils, each and every one, and have not appeared in our collection. I say you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. I'm terribly jealous. I only hope I can convince you to donate these and help expand a little museum. In the meantime, I shall return them to you. But do think on what I said. Who, who? Okay, make a donation. Uh, I wonder what they are. Oh, they're both trilobites. He only needs one of those, and I can sell the other one or keep it. Eek, a tiger butterfly. What a wretched thing. Uh, yes, I'd like to learn more. Ah, oh, I see. In that case, M. Tiger butterflies are known for their majestic wings, which many consider quite beautiful. Truth be told, I find them monstrous. These strange striped patterns, they give this owl the goosebumps. And while you may imagine young tiger butterfly larvae to look like lovely green caterpillars, it's not so. Why, when tiger butterflies are but babes, they're covered in unsightly white, brown, and black spots. 
In this way, they camouflage themselves as... as... bird droppings. Putrid pests, indeed. Any hoot. <laughs> oh my goodness, Blathers. Uh, I can give you one of these fossils, but I can't give you both because they're the same thing, and you only want one for the exhibit. Here's the trilobite. Ooh, who, who? Could it be? It is. A trilobite. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved trilobite. Yes, I'd like a presentation. Wonderful. Trilobites were ancient and extinct before the dinosaurs ever appeared. It boggles the mind. Who? They were also one of the most successful classes of animal ever, existing for over 300 million years. Some 50,000 species were identified in sizes ranging from 3 millimeters to over 2 feet. Alas, that is the very limit of my enthusiasm for them, though. They look rather too much like bugs. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, I can't give him the other one because he already has one. One more donation. Okay, uh, let's just have a quick look around, see if we can find one more thing. And then we'll call it a video, I reckon. Um, yeah. <laughs> we might go fishing? I haven't caught very many types of fish yet, so... If we catch another one, then that would probably help. Oh, hey Gulliver! I don't know how to wake you up yet. Uh, can I talk to you, or do I need an item? Wait, Enka, check its blood pressure. You should provide a yum yum. Um, in um New Leaf, you got a megaphone to wake up Gulliver. I don't know if that's in this game or not. And I don't know how to make one, even if you do have to make one. So, hmm. I guess we'll see. <gasps> Yes! I caught a surgeon fish! Scalpel, forceps, fish hook! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, let's go donate it, and then the museum's ready to open. Pretty exciting. Oh, hang on, I haven't caught one of those yet either. If you just hold down the button when you're using a fishing. Oh, what's this thing called? A bug net? You actually walk real slow until you let go, which makes it. Pretty easy to inch your way up on bugs. Yes! I caught a walker cicada! I walk all the time and no one calls me Walker Danielle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, I, I like the puns and, and jokes and stuff with all that when you catch animals in this, these games. I, they're, just, they're just really good and, and great. Anyway, um, hello Blathers, I got some more stuff for you. Make a donation! I would like to donate a walker cicada to you. Eek! A walker cicada! What a wretched thing. Yes, tell me about it. Ah, oh, I see. The walker cicada is quite the noisy thing. I tell you, this impolite pest simply cannot abide the quiet. In the heat of summer, the male strikes up a strange rattling song, hoping to woo a mate. When other male cicadas hear this rhythmic racket, they join right in, as if it were a sing-along. My head aches at the thought of it. And that's all you got to say about that. Yes, huzzah, hooray, we have acquired the number of specimens required. My feathers, I am at a loss for words. Never would I have imagined we could reach our donation goal on this, my very first day on the island. The generosity that made this possible, the passion, I am humbled by the spirit of Cantalot. Now we can submit our application and build a proper museum. Oh, oh my, I must make haste and prepare, the museum, prepare for the museum opening. There's so much to do. Hooty hoo. Thank you so very much, Danielle. Can I still donate to you? you? Okay, I gotta wait till the museum's ready. Museum construction's about to begin. However, requests for fossil appraisal are still most welcome. Okay, so I can't donate until the museum's built, which is probably tomorrow. I can't offer much in the way of hospitality, but do make yourself comfortable. So I'll have to hold on to my surgeon fish for now. <laughs> Okie doke. Um... Do, 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 do. Look, miles. Uh, bona fide bone finder. Oh, we're getting close. Uh, I can probably do something else to reach the reach the number before I finish the video. Edit credit. Oh, customize your profiles. Okay. Um, bulletin board benefit. Put something on the bulletin board. Uh, first, oh, custom design. Right, yeah, I need to do that. 
Um, hmm. I'm not sure what I want to make the custom designs is the thing. I'll, th I'll think about it. Uh, Apparently if you uh, get the axe out, which is here somewhere, and hit a rock with it, yeah, you can get stone out of it, even though this is not a shovel, which is what I thought you had to hit these with. Okay. Uh, you could always hit a rock with a shovel in the previous games. I think you could use an axe as well, but it didn't make sense because axes could break and shovels couldn't. They can both now break though, so I guess it doesn't really matter which you use. Uh... Oh, there goes my axe. Oh no, I guess that's it, my flimsy axe. I'll have to make a fresh one. Is that a frog? Oh, that no, that's a swimming beetle of sorts. I want that. I want that. Give me that. Yes. I caught a diving beetle, now I'm making a splash. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think I'll stop for now, um, at least for this video. Uh, next time, we'll get our Nook Miles up to 5,000. I'm probably going to play again today, so... Um, see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> but that's it for this particular video. Uh, we were focusing mostly on getting the museum opened and... It's going to be opened, so we did our jobs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye! Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I picked up a wasp nest. But my pockets are full already. Uh, swap it? What else am I holding? Uh, I need more room in these pockets. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Bye!